yeah welcome to the video lecture today we are going to see power bjt so we just recall fast uh, what is bjt which we have learned in the previous classes bjt is bipolar junction transistor it has three terminals emitter base and collector so please recall what you have studied the base collector and the emitter if you can compare in terms of the area wise base area is very smaller than the collector and the emitter so the emitter area is high and emitter is highly doped compared with the base and the collector the next now this is the structure which you have seen it has two junctions emitter base base will be in the middle and you have uh, eb junction and cb junction and then you just recall that the this is an output characteristics of common emitter configuration so if you can see we are going to see the output voltage versus the output current that is vce versus ic just i want to recall you that bjt has three regions one is cutoff region and then the active region and the saturation region right now we go with power bjt similar to the bjt power bjt has three terminals that is as emitter base and the collector now only the difference is that it has vertically oriented four layer structure so the vertical structure uses to increase the cross sectional area so we see that area now this is the vertical structure of uh, power vjt you can see it has four regions so starting with from the bottom if you can see you have collector then uh, collector drift region in the middle and then you have the base and then the emitter fine and then if you can see doping profile it has a four layers the first layer is heavily doped so it has the first layer is heavily the emitter is heavily doped okay and then next the second base layer is moderately doped so the second base layer is moderately doped the third region is lightly doped that is the collector drift region is lightly doped and the last region the last region the collector region which is highly doped right so this is the pro doping profile of power bjt now the first point which you have to note the drift layer increases that is the drift layer in the sense that the collector drift layer increases the voltage blocking capability of the transistor due to low doping level so the width of this layer decides the breakdown voltage the disadvantage of this layer is that the increase on state voltage drops and increase on state device resistance which increases power loss so power dissipation will be high another point to note down here is that the power handling capability of the power transistor is very large so they have to dissipate power in the form of heat sometimes heat sinks uses to increase the effective area and therefore increases power dissipation capacity the heat sinks made from the metal metal okay now we can see the construction of the bjt here the bjt you can see it has four layers and you can see how the emitter has been uh, arranged from from the uh, top layer you can see how the emitters have been arranged okay the n layer is added to the power vjt which is known as a drift region so these are the drift regions which are present on the above layer okay now we see uh, uh, how the bjt has to be designed so we have to design bjt properly that it has to manage the power dissipation and it has to manage a crick effect now we see very important what is crick effect crick effect, effect means so crick effect occurs at high current densities and causes a dramatic increase in the transit time of a bipolar transistor this effect is due to the charge density associated with the current density passing through the base collector region as charge density increases and the depletion region 
ceases to exist that means it will not exist so crick effect can, can be eliminated by increasing the collector doping profile so so important points to remember here power bjt have thick and low doped collector region it results in large blocking voltage it has extremely low doping densities used to obtain blocking voltages as large as 3000 volts it has large active areas than um, normal bjt this results in higher current capabilities now we see the iv characteristics of power bjt so we recall that the bjt has three regions cutoff active and saturation but whereas the power bjt has four regions cutoff region active region quasi saturation region and hard quasi saturation region now if you can see the characteristic curve of uh, power bjt so we can see the regions here so we have active region then uh, cutoff region then hot saturation region then quasi saturation region now here we can notice the two breakdowns here primary breakdown and the secondary breakdown here one point to remember that the active region will be more compared with the normal bjt so this is one of the difference between the power bjt and the uh, power bj normal bjt and the power bjt in the power bjt the active region will be more than compared with the normal bjt okay in uh, power bjt we have uh, two breakdowns primary breakdown and the secondary breakdown and uh, when the secondary breakdown exists it will the transistor will tra slowly go to the quasi saturation region and then if uh, voltage is increased or sorry the current is increased then it goes to the hard saturation region now we can see what is the cutoff region when the base emitter and the collector base junction both are reverse biased the base current ib equal to zero and the collector current is equal to the reverse leakage current ice naught the region below the characteristic curve for ib naught is the cutoff region so below this ib naught ib equal to zero is your cutoff region okay in this region bjt offers large resistance to the flow of current hence it is equivalent to an open circuit so this is known to you all when it is in cutoff region it will be in terms of open circuit and in the second region is active region in active region so all of you can recall what you have studied that base and emitter junction is forward biased and collector base junction is reverse biased so same principle the collector current ic increases slightly with an increase in the vce voltage if ib is increased so we can see the curve here as ib1 ib2 and then the currents which we are increasing what happened the ic the output voltage current will increase right then if bjt uses as an amplifier or a series pass transistor in the voltage regulator it operates in this region okay the dynamic resistance in this region is large and the power dissipation is maximum so the maximum power dissipation will be in the active region coming to the quasi saturation region quasi saturation region is between the hard saturation and the active region it exists due to the lightly doped drift layer bjt operates at high frequency and uh, it is operated in this region both junctions are forward bias so as we know that in a saturation region both the junctions that is common uh, base and uh, sorry the uh, base emitter and the base uh, emitter collect, uh, collector junction should be forward bias okay the device offers low resistance compared to the active region so the power mosfet offers low resistance compared to the active region so power is less so in the quasi saturation region so the quasi saturation region mode can be used for the high frequency appliances or application purposes okay the next comes hard saturation region the power bjt push into the hard saturation region from the quasi saturation region by increasing the base current Okay. this region is also known as deep saturation region the resistance offers in this region is minimum right and then the bjt has a very less power dissipation in this particular hard saturation region okay now it will be uh, when it is in the saturation hard saturation it will be in the closed switch right it, and it will be used in low frequency applications now these are the applications it is used in smps power amplifiers 
please online.